Hey everyone, so I'm going to start by priming my face with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer just to give me a nice easy base to work with and hydrate my face a little bit. Now I'm going in with the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette and taking this light yellow shade and just popping that over any redness that I have. Um, I don't have a green concealer which is preferable for colour correcting but yellow does do quite well because it is in the same colour family. I'm just taking that around my nose as well where I always tend to get a bit red and I'm going to take my fingers and just use the warmth of my fingers to emulsify the product into my skin so to blend it in a little bit and to make it a little bit easier to blend over. Now I'm taking my YSL La Tente Touche Flat Foundation, this is in the colour BD20 I believe. And I'm just going to dot that all over my face and then once that's done I'm going to take the Ray Morris Liquid Foundation Brush and I'm just going to stipple this into my skin and then it kind of um, buff the rest of it in once I've finished that just to give it a very seamless airbrushed effect. blending that down my neck just to make sure it's very continuous. Now I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla and the YSL Touche Clap Foundation, I mean concealer pen, and just combine those two under my eyes to give a really nice luminous look. And then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and just blend that all out. This is a method that I find gives the most flawless look. It doesn't really um, cake up under your eyes or sink into lines. It just blends it really, really nicely. I'm going to take the excess of that product and just highlight a little bit on my nose um, on my cupid's bow and my chin as well. Now I'm just taking a little bit of lip butter to prepare my lips for the later edition of this post. And now I'm going to take the NARS Luminous Powder Foundation in the shade Mont Blanc, which is my normal foundation shade. And using another Ray Morris brush, I'm just going to pat that over the foundation so as not to move the product. I'm taking the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm taking this on a kabuki type brush and I'm just going to bronze up my face. I didn't want to contour this day because I was just going to see my Nana and Nana wouldn't really understand if I had two brown stripes on my face. So I'm just going to create a more natural look for today. Now I'm going to take the Becca Rose, Becca Blush in Wild Honey, sorry. And I'm just popping this on my cheekbones and blending it up into the bronzer as well. Just something very nice and natural for a look like this. Now I'm going to take Balm um, the Mary Luminizer, which is this beautiful highlight. I'm taking a little fan brush and I'm just going to put this on the top of my cheekbones. product I'm going to take just down my nose, in between my eyebrows, a little bit on my cupid's bow and then just a touch on my chin. Now I'm going to set all that with MAC Fix Plus to give it a nice dewy finish. Now I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown, just my normal everyday eyebrow routine. I'll kind of skim over this because I tend to do the same thing in all of my videos. So if you want a more in-depth routine, then just go and watch one of the earlier ones. Now I'm going to take the Milani Bella eyeshadows in Bella Cafe and pop that in my crease on a round fluffy brush. Then from that same line, I'm going to take the Bella Cappuccino shade and just pop that in my crease to build up the colour a little bit. Next up, I'm going to take the Bella Sand shade from that same line, which is a nice shimmery kind of sand colour really, and just I'm going to pop that all over my lids to create a nice highlighter.
my lashes in this one. This one is my favorite at the moment. It really separates the lashes and gives them a lot of length as well. And now to add a little bit of volume, I'm going to use another Coverdell mascara. Coverdell mascara is on my favorite and they are really affordable as well. So that's always good. So I'm just going to pop that all over my lips as per usual. 